Hello, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Yay, we get to play again. Now we're gonna start from the day two investigation. Let's do this. December 26th, Detention Center. Visitor's room. Maya? Hey, Nick, it's you. I'm glad Mr. Edgeworth made it through the day okay. It's a relief. Hey. Why'd you do that anyway? I don't know. I, I just knew I had to do something. I know I'm not the lawyer. I know I'm not the lawyer my sister was. I'm sorry. Well, you did save the trial. Just behave from now on, okay? Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh yeah, we started with these Oh snap, so she's in um detention once again. Have you been questioned yet? I'm gonna turn the bottom down a bit. Screw you. The vibe might be high at first, and then it gets lower to something nicer. But I don't think yes, mine. The music's good. Gosh dang. Have you been questioned yet? No, not yet. Detective Gumshoe was here just now. He said seeing that this is your first offense will let you go after questioning. Phew. Oh, and he wanted me to get bail money ready. You can pay for me, okay? Huh? How much? I don't know. I guess they'll send you a bill or something. Why would I picture giant bales of money everywhere at time I hear the word bail? I think that too, like, bail was like, if you have to bail someone in jail, it's like at least a billion dollars. Any luck with Mia? None. I can't get through to her at all. I tried. I really did. I don't know what to do. I think I probably should have stopped my, shouldn't have stopped my training. Hmm, she sounds like she really did do her best. I should check and see if there are any waterfalls in the local area. I wonder if I'll ever see my sister again. Oh, you will. Don't you worry, girl. Alright. So the second day of investigation, um, what's happening? What is our thing? Like, what should we go first? Let's go here. Because I feel like stuff always happens here. December 26th, Gord Lake Park entrance. They are feared than the, there were yesterday, but the cops are still around the park. I wonder if you take the gum shoes here today. Oh man, so I'm here by myself. How weird. Let's go to the public beach. Let's go to the beach. Beach. December 26th. Gordon Lake Public Beach. I haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off paying... What? Probably off paying through the nose on a date with the lovely Keonce. Is that Keonce, girl? Mm. Nothing here whatsoever. I also see a lot of us there now. December 26th, Scored Lake Woods. Oh, snaps. Oh, it's Gumshoe. Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal. The trial today at, uh... Yeah? What about the trial? Well, I was gonna say, good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did save Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you. You know? Uh, thanks? Alright, what do you want to talk about, Gumshoe? Why are you here? Why weren't you just at the main gate? Tomorrow's trial. Take the gum shoe. Any idea what strategy Von Karma's planning for tomorrow? It sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another wit. Another witness. All right. He said something about the in the trial today. There were two witnesses. Well, that's <laughs> a bit dramatic for that little short statement. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? Sorry, pal. As much as I like to, I'm not. Sh at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Let's talk about Edgeworth. Alright, I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about this that before. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does. Him becoming a lawyer. Him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with an incident. DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, when he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can't see it in his eyes. <laughs> you see that like little tangent? He goes like, there's only spe little things we know about Edgeworth, and he's like, but we know this, and this, and this, and this, and his shoe size, and it's like, what? I want to talk to you about my, my FA. Huh? 
she's not on a bed yet. <clears throat> That's strange. I told them to let her go as soon as they had their report written up. Man, I don't know what have, would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff, I'll be honest, Capel. I shed a tear or two. Edgeworth. He was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. Really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? Cold stone, Edgeworth. He was really grateful for what she did, you know. I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out there as soon as possible as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait. Um, I was wondering, how much is bail going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Edgeworth? Didn't I tell you? He's grateful to her for what she did. Alright, pal. Well, don't forget to pick her up, okay? Oh my. Hmm. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. <laughs> that's heartwarming. No one thinks of That's just heartwarming that he paid for the bail now. That's so. Alright, so we can go get Maya now so we don't have to be so lonely. Alright, let's just go get Maya. Oh, shedding real tears of, like. Feels, yo. Um, detention center. December 26th, detention center. Visitor's room. Hey, Nick, you finally came. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators were really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do to this? What did you do this time? Like I was some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Oh, that reminds me. Thanks for the bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that. I have to make it up to him. We've got to win this case, Nick. Oh, yeah. We'll make it up to him. Uh. Actually, yeah, let's ask what to do. <laughs> I don't know what direction I'm going around. What do you think we should do next? We're kind of lacking in the clue department. We could go to the park and look for Gordy. <laughs> I was kidding. So, if there are any clues out there, the park's as good as any bit. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure. Alright. We don't need to read any ideas. Alright, go back to the park. Maybe with Maya she can do something. Maybe Mia will come back to the park. Or we'll find a waterfall. Holy crap, what if we find a waterfall? Then that'll be perfect. December 26th, Gord Lake Park entrance. There aren't many cops around today, are there? They're probably back at the precinct working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all. Oh, Slada. Hey, Slada. Y'all really did it today. What do we do now? No, I'm not complaining. See, I did a little thinking. A little self-reflection, you might say. I realized that being a witness is a mighty big responsibility, but I just went up there and started balabbing any old thing that came to mind. Slada. So you see, I want to make it up to y'all. Make it up. Alright. Please. Elaborate. What did you think of today? The trial, to be honest, I was doing it half just to say I'd been a witness. Even though I didn't really see anything, I kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry, I know it caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is a tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, I sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time I witness a murder. Right. You mean the first time you witness a murder? <laughs> Alright, let's talk about Gordy. What about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figure, the trial's only stroking the flames of Gordy fever. I'll get my exclusive photos and rocket to start them. Alright, Lada, you go, girl. I wish you could be an investigative book photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first. Yeah, we need to find you a waterfall. I think that's why we're here. I think we're gonna find a waterfall, no joke. Or maybe something's gonna happen like a waterfall. Making up. Lada, what do you mean by making up to us? Well, you see... Actually, I got a bit of information for you. What? That Von Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. Exchange? Um, I thought this was a make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. What? This information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh. Hey. I see you thinking, my, how sophisticated these southern folks are. It's written all over your face. Let me tell you, most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just an exception, okay? Well, what'll be? We gonna deal or not? What do we do, Nick? Deal or no deal? Uh, 
Spug face. Let's deal. Let's see what she wants. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have any other choice. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob the poor. Huh? I'm a, I'm a lawyer, I'll have you know. The only fair exchange for information is information. Listen, good. What I ne need from you is the information about Gordy. Whoa, 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 Gordy? Oh, snap, so we're gonna go Gordy hunting? But Gordy doesn't, I'm, but Gordy doesn't, I mean, Gordy, uh -huh, it's not her. But Gordy doesn't, I mean, Gordy might not exist. Then bring me proof that shows he don't. Uh, I'll be keeping watch from the car, okay? You see something? Y'all come to me first, got it? Okay, right, see you later. Snaps. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. <laughs> hunting? You don't seriously mean... Gordy? I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for, for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly do we search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist. Uh, is there another character in this? Let's go to the beach. Again. Oh, snaps! What the heck is that? Oh, it's a steel samurai! Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like a, those, like, punching bag things. December 26th, Gordon Lake Public Beach. What's that? The Steel Samurai, Nick. Yo, Maya. Oh. Yo, Maya. Larry. Larry, what the heck is this? Oh, it was my girl Kiyasi's idea. She was all, oh, if you like, put this here. It would be, like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow. That's real impressive. She could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she's got them for free. Right. Okay, oh, yeah, that show is finished, huh? Uh, let's talk about Edgeworth, I guess. I don't know. Yo, Nick! What happened with Edgeworth? Well, we made it through the first day in our coral, right? I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh. Hey, Larry, did you know Edgeworth's secret is weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think he was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a year. He transferred, he transferred schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Right, when the DS6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it though. It's about the big samurai, I guess. Hey Larry, what's with the big thing up there before? Huh? Oh, big guy. I've had that for about a month, yeah. It's a big hit with the kids. Why wasn't it here yesterday? Huh? Huh? Oh, right. A compressor was busted. Compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit by, by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put an air in the samurai. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it for the repairs. Oh. And here I thought you inflated it by yourself. Uh. Is that it? Wait, can we examine that? Let's examine the steel samurai. Excuse me, Larry. I'm gonna examine that big guy. Those flags look sadly out of place here, flapping lifeless, listlessly back and forth in the cold wind under the cold sky. I don't know. I think it's a place kind of festival atmosphere. It reminds me of a War of the Eyeglasses. The War of the what? Huh? What? You mean you don't know the War of the Eyeglasses? What the heck is it? What the heck is it? Our local fair used to do it every summer. Huh? I guess we were the only ones. I ask again, what the heck is it? <laughs> Alright, I just, I actually did not want to see the flags. I wanted to see the Steel Samurai. Doesn't this Steel Samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. Okay, guess so it's good advertising. Something about the Steel Samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made for me. <laughs> Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. These Steel Samurai fans are obviously in league of their own. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, tune in next time and we'll continue trying to find Gordy, I guess. We're going to go Gordy hunting. That, which sounds pretty crazy to me. This is awesome. Gosh dang. Tune in next time.